Welcome to Vasgar, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vasgar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, uh, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. Uh, uh, man, who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work? I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. You're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What you got, Jack? Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long. They work. So much swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. 
One more thing, Bear. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just futzing around with its shield generators. guy's accent? It's Garazza. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. A few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. And they started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority. Say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are your children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. Training in the Deadlands back in those days. Let me know if you want a few desert plants. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I've never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You, my friend, missed your calling. We should be teaching science. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe someday. Stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? 
And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in it. I'm ready to go. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads can use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say let's do it and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Thank you. 
Maddox said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. I should get back.
Now come on! That's it. They're done. Good night. Haddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looked huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR call it. Eh, hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> 